Welcome to the Shotgun Journal with Bruce Scott and Marty Fisher. Both Marty and I have been extremely fortunate being able to make a living doing something that we both enjoy very much. We have had the opportunity to wing shoot all over the world and each trip gave us a different experience. Some trips were more memorable than others. Now I've got a feeling this is going to be one of those memory maker trips because for the first time Bruce and I have come to the country of Bolivia. We're going to be shooting the fast flying Picazuro Pigeon which both of us absolutely love to shoot. In fact it may be our favorite bird to shoot in all of South America. Now when you come to a place for the first time you want to make sure you come at the right time and you go to the right spot. We call our friend Jerry Booth at the detail company in Houston, Texas. She told us that she had a new lodge that she thought would fit exactly what we wanted, and here we are. It's run by an old buddy that I met years ago in Illinois, Ryan McCollum. Co the company is called Wing Shooting Safaris de Bolivia, and if these fields in my background are as full of birds as I think they are going to be, then Bruce and I are really going to have a great shoot in Bolivia. The first leg of our Bolivian trip, we've come to Ryan's lodge that he calls The Rock, and it's appropriately named. The lodge sits atop a rock outcropping that's probably 150 to 200 feet above the farmland below. And on our drive in, we saw lots of pigeons, and we're both looking forward to in the morning. Well, I'll tell you, these guys made quick work of making us a little blind here, of machetes whacking away. And we've got a nice little blind here. Yes, we do. Large, actually. I feel covered. Yep. All right, now let's hope the pigeons think we're covered. There you go. What we need to do is get some bird shot and put them on the ground out there where their eye will look at that and think it's birds feeding, and it will take their focus off of us. Coming in behind us, Marty. Your bird. Oh, it. geez, look at him decoy. And did you see me shoot right over the top of his back the first time? <laughs> uh, he paid for it the second shot, though. Well, I've heard of guys doing that. Of course, I've never done it myself. <laughs> the day is young, my friend. <laughs> Okay. You notice as soon as they saw some on the ground, oh, yeah, turned, yeah. they came right. That's yep. pretty amazing. They were looking at them for yep. sure. Liking it. There you go, Bruce. Those birds were coming in, you know, just kind of looking, and they had slowed down quite a bit. Uh, so those birds didn't take as much lead as some of these pass shots where they're not seeing the decoy, they're just going from one place to another. Coming back, come, now that's a decoying pigeon right there. <laughs> that's a, a dead, dead decoying pigeon <laughs> right there. <laughs> now well, that's, we dropped him in the decoy spread. That's what we're trying to get. I mean, that it was perfect. Shot, Bruce. Marty, I've actually shortened my lead. Once these birds see the decoys, they slow that wing beat down just a little bit, and the lead has been pulled back. When we were first here, when birds were just going from this uh, roost or whatever it is over to that one, like this bird's gonna take more lead. Yes, he did, good shot. Yeah, I opened that up. I went to the lead I wanted, there's another one, and then stretched it. That's Marty's style. Mm -hmm. Here you go, Marty. Nice driven. Yep. Right here. <laughs> and decoy, a driven and a decoy. Boy, you talk about a change. There you go. There. My long barrel. 
Well done, Marty. That was a two-shot bird. Only sounded like one, but Marty and I both fired at the same time. More birds out front. This one needs to one of the three left. Three left. The far left. There you go, one apiece. Yep. That our boy, partner. After years in the making, the most exciting wing shooting action ever put on video is now available. Learn to hit dove, wild pigeons, ducks, geese, Buster, quail, Buster. and pheasant. Join Bruce and Marty as they teach you the finer points of wing shooting like gun fit, flushing, decoying, and passing shots. See what the shooter sees through the eye camera. Only $24.95 plus shipping in chapter DVD and VHS. Call or visit shotgunjournal.com. Oh, we're getting some decoys out there now. Oh, yeah. He was already dead. That was a double snake. <laughs> <laughs> I already had him dead. I had nothing else to shoot at. <laughs> Decoying. Ooh. Decoying right here. If you notice the difference, what Bruce was talking about, the speed change is remarkably different between the decoying birds and the passing birds. And I'm going to tell you that the leads on these things change so quickly as soon as they give you a little wing beat because these wings are so big, they can pick up speed really fast. Birds left, decoying in. One for you, one for me. More coming here. Yeah. I got one shell because I didn't get front. loaded. I only got one shell in. But one shell was enough. Yep. Was enough for me too. <laughs> That's Marty's though. Uh, the bird boys will appreciate that. You put him right in the decoy spread instead of all this jungle behind us that they have to climb in and dig out. Did you notice how much patience I had so I, I could shoot I him did. where he would drop in there? I mean, and like I say, I'm sure the bird boys really appreciate so. that. Now I got a single here. Glad yours was harder than the one I just shot. He's going to be high though. Not a boy. But well, if he that is wind would have been blowing. That wind would have been a little harder to blown right back into the decoy spread. <laughs> Nice shot, buddy. <laughs> now that bird was almost a driven shot. Well, it really was a driven shot, a little bit quartering. But that's where uh, shooting pheasants in uh, England or something like that, they use the swing through, or they used to a lot, butt, belly, beak. Now I didn't didn't use that. I like constant lead, so I just come up, put the bur uh, uh, barrel just about three to four feet in front of him and pull the trigger, but I was still moving the gun at the same speed as the bird is flying. Or right, still left now. There we go. That's it. The problem is left kept changing, <laughs> <laughs> but it was still communicating enough, and that's always wise where you aren't both shooting at the same bird. Well, the pigeons don't speak English. Of course not, Marty. This is Bolivia. They speak Spanish. You may hear a lot of squawking in the background. That is obviously not pigeons. They have a parakeet or parrot. I don't know which it is. It looks a little big for a parakeet to me. Uh, they're a green bird. Looks like a small parrot. And man, do they make a lot of noise. They'll come by in flocks of four to ten. Your bird, Marty. Well done. They'll come by in flocks of four to ten. And man, they're very, very vocal. Well, there's some toucans with them too. Oh, and that, I didn't you know, that. And, and of course, you know, if you, well, you know, a toucan, toucans. Um, well, that's one more than a one can. Well, that thing needs to be on a Fruit Loops. <laughs> that's one more than a one well, can. Was a Fruit Loop cereal bird? Yeah, you know, the yeah. toucan. Well, I hadn't. I don't guess I've seen those. So I have to pay attention. <laughs> I've been looking for pigeons. You can have him. Not a boy. Nice shot. The bird boys are smiling. They are really smiling because we are dropping the birds right in decoys for them. That's a silly bird. Yep. 
Well done, Marty. More right behind him coming in on the decoys. They'll break to the left here any time. And they did not. Front. Single right Front. here. I'll take Front. that one. <laughs> Geez, it's raining feathers. I come down to one. Let's go to two. Right here. Yep. Right, right, right. Right. Decoying birds. That was a poof. Look at the feathers. <laughs> That full choke on one at 10 yards makes a yeah, mess. Yeah, it does. We got birds working the decoys up front all over the place. Gee. You dropped one left, I dropped yep. one right. And dropped another yeah, right. another one out here, right here. I got one shell left, Bruce. Me too. That's pretty but far. Take oh, him. There you go. He's long. <laughs> yes, yep. he is. You know, many times Marty and I are asked what shotguns we're shooting. So I'll take a few moments to tell you our equipment. I am shooting a Caesar Guarini Summit model. This is one of my favorite wing shooting guns. It comes in a two barrel set. This is the 20 gauge barrels that I'm shooting on the pigeons today. We also have a set of 28 gauge barrels for this gun. So I use that on smaller birds like dove, quail. The interesting thing about this gun to me, or the thing that makes it one of my favorite, is that it's got 32 inch barrels. I'm not a real fan of a short gun. I shoot a lot of sporting clays, therefore I like that longer sight picture that I'm used to when I shoot sporting clays in fitness. Uh, the gun swings well, it's extremely well balanced. Now, the chokes. People also ask what chokes we're shooting. Today I'm shooting compen chokes. The top barrel, which is my second barrel normally, is a full choke. My first barrel is a light full. Now the compen chokes with these slots in here, I don't know exactly how it works, but it gives me a very even pattern. And when you're shooting tight chokes, you want that even pattern so you can use every bit of the pattern that you have and still deliver a good killing concentration of lead into the bird. Let me stand up here where I can get one of these. That's yours. Well done. Right here, a high. Nope. Oh no. There you go. Nice shot, Bruce. Well, Marty, it appears that the morning flight is dwindling. Well, we, we dwindled it okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a sea of gray out here. We do. Of, uh, of pigeon. Boy, I mean, what a, what a great what a, shoot. I mean, there were times there that I could not load fast enough. Well, no, and, and you know, you, you had said, I wish I had my loader from yeah, Spain. Well, right, yeah, right. you know, so did I. But, uh, you know, I mean, this is, this is just the, the first of a lot of hunts that we're going to do. We're, right. we're actually going to leave this particular lodge and go to another one of the five or six lodges that, uh, that, that Ryan has and see if we can find some more birds. Well, let me assure you of one thing. Every bird that we shot that they can find, at least the ones out here, I'm sure there will be a few back in here, will not go to waste. Once these birds are all picked up, they're actually going to be dropped off at either one of the Mennonite colonies or with some of the native Bolivian villages because it's a great source of protein and all of these birds will be consumed. After a great morning of shooting decoying pigeons, Bruce and I have traveled about 150 miles south of the rock by air to Ryan's main pigeon lodge, Hacienda La Torcasa which in Bolivian means Pigeon Lodge. Imagine that. Now we're going to be hunting in the famous Chaco region of Bolivia, 
which in native tongue translates to hunting grounds, so it looks like we're in the right spot. Traveling to hunt is much more than just shooting birds. It's experiencing different cultures, making new friends, and in this case, taking a step back into history. Ryan's Pigeon Lodge was originally a working cattle ranch. Ryan told me that this ranch originally consisted of over 300,000 acres, and there's a lot of history here. The original ranch building here was built before our Civil War in the United States, 150 years old. This area right here was used as the blacksmith shop. Some of the old equipment that is still here on the ranch is very fascinating. This was an old cane grinder. They would grind the cane or run the cane through here as it was being turned and the juice would fall out here. This is the old kitchen area and as you can tell by the blackened walls it's had years of open fires. This area right here is where they would take the cane juice that they had just squeezed, put it in here, large fire under it, and boil it till it was down to the consistency of syrup. Now over here Years and years of bread making have been in and out of this oven. These two sides of the ranch house have been modernized for the hunters. In here we have a very large gathering room and Gracias. a dining room where you eat. The bedrooms are very spacious and the bathrooms you'll find to be up to date in every respect. You know, we're out here mainly for pigeons but a few doves are flying by and you know you just can't resist that so we're going to take a few pigeons out here also now well that, it was more than a few <laughs> yeah well, okay I mean, <laughs> but you know, after a while you you know I <laughs> you just can't let you know I'm hey I'm a wing shooter man yep. that's, that's legal game I just can't let that many doves fly by me now this morning should be real good because it's just as you can see by the fog there's no wind so you're not going to have to contend with different lead pictures left or right or front and back. Uh, if you have the light, right lead picture for the angle and the distance, yeah. you should be right on the bird. Oh, look at right here in front, Bruce. That's a killable. Good shot. Ooh, there's one behind you. <clears throat> yeah, he was a little bit far from me. I was yeah. trying, but when you shot, he uh -huh. kicked out another 10 yards. So. Silly bird. I should have, he should know better. Yeah, <laughs> come straight in on you. You can't come into Bruce right there. <laughs> yeah, my sweet spot. There may be a lot of places you can fly, but not there. <laughs> now that bird was coming in. I took the gun right to his beak and then just pulled away ever so slowly, maybe only a foot and pull the trigger. There you go. That's Good job, huh? again just a go to the beak, pull up just a little bit, very slowly, and pull the trigger. I didn't even bring my gun up. I said that bird is just a goner. A little more, I reckon. There you go. <laughs> right in the blind. A double. Right in the blind. There you go. I got in the gun, changed my mind, come out of it, went back <laughs> in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it worked. Still got your bird. <laughs> well, the doves are just giving yeah. us good practice for the pigeons. That's right. The, uh, the, well, not a problem, but something you have to take in consideration if you start getting a feel and a mental picture of what you're shooting on these doves, and along comes a pigeon, which is about two and a half to three times larger, you have to uh, compensate because they appear to be much closer than they are uh, and will normally require a little more lead. So it's something you just have to adjust to. Well, and you think they're slower too, and they're right. not slower. No, they're not. I mean, one pigeon wing beat 
gets him moving pretty good. Did Just like UPS, delivered right to the door. Well, I delivered mine on the edge of the fence <laughs> over there, so. <laughs> what it looks like. No, he might come. We both got him. You got him a little harder than I did, I think. Well, I held off until you shot. Yeah. And Thanks he, for the help. I got him, yeah. but I didn't. Yeah, you got him, but he didn't fold he up. He didn't so fold. I said, well, you I might fold as well. Look at this. Holy Good moly. gosh. <laughs> I don't know what to shoot. <laughs> uh, well, the tendency would be to shoot in amongst them, but that's not going to work. Yeah. Pigeons, pigeons behind. Got him. Got him. Can you imagine if there was just one guy standing here? Oh, geez, you'd wear yourself out. I mean, with all the shooting we're doing, I mean, yeah. it's, I mean, it's left, right, right. front, back, yep. up. I mean. It, it's been, a, yep. you know, just amazing. I mean, you'd be spinning around in circle. There you go. Pretty cool, huh? That's pretty good. Left bird, right bird, two down. Four. Well, that concludes our combination hunt here in Bolivia. We must not leave without thanking Jerry Booth of the Detail Company in Houston, Texas, and Ryan McCullum of Wing Shooting Safaris de Bolivia here in Bolivia. But most of all, we'd like to thank you for sharing this time with us. <laughs>